Welcome back into Fox 13 News. Now, a first of its kind study of Puget Sound is sounding an alarm. Parasite populations are dropping. And while that may sound good, the scientists behind this study warns those parasites are crucial to our area. There is an invisible biodiversity crisis happening. In Puget Sound, the startling issue is what you don't see. Parasites declining at a rapid rate. And we were really shocked to find that instead of increases in parasites over time, what we found were overwhelmingly declines. We know Puget Sound is warmed, but with climate change, many assume parasites would thrive. Instead, in a newly published study, Dr. Chelsea Wood has found that parasites that rely on multiple species are dropping nearly 11% per decade. Now, the research itself is basic, yet ingenious. Using species stowed away at UW's Burke Museum, Wood and her colleagues were able to dissect ancient fish, essentially parasite time capsules stretching back 140 years, eventually comparing findings to the parasites found in modern fish. They discovered what Wood calls a biodiversity crisis. We have the first hints of it in Puget Sound. And what we saw was that the parasites with the very most complex life cycles were absolutely nosediving. Important because nearly half of all species on Earth are parasites. Most of us don't realize predators rely on parasites. They play a role in keeping populations of various species in check. And Puget Sound, as we know, has many species that are struggling. Eelgrass, salmon, orcas, and more are in danger. Heck, just last week we saw scientists in our area tracking endangered rockfish. There are species or a group of species that people don't necessarily think about when they think about the Salish Sea. And uh, that's really too bad. But parasites? Until now, no one was sounding the alarm. Only a handful of the millions of parasites we know of harm people. Wood says it may be hard to think of them this way, but they're vital. And out in nature, there are hundreds of thousands of parasite species doing really important things for ecosystems. While well, it's not known if climate is the cause of the sharp decline, it's a main suspect right now. But what's really important is whether this is a local issue or a global one. And Dr. Wood hopes that similar studies around the world can help answer that question.